What's up guys? I'm John. My name is Chris. And we are The Hook. And tonight, we're actually about to be doing a live stream right now. So if you're watching this right now, we've already done a live stream, and you guys are going to watch that live stream reaction. It's the first time we've ever done this. So like, yeah. Chris was just saying he's nervous. I'm yeah. over here sweating. You can't see the <laughs> black shirt, but it's sweat stains. Pouring. It's like, this shirt was great. <laughs> Anyways, what I'm trying to say is, uh, if you guys ever do want to catch a live stream, uh, we're gonna leave a link to our Twitch in the description below. We're gonna be checking out different shows on here So if you guys do want to ever jump on and like theory craft with us a little bit and just talk about stuff uh, Yeah, check it out. Yeah, and then also we'll be <clears throat> posting them directly from the live stream to our patreon channel So that will be early access on our patreon and then you guys can check it out uh, on YouTube a couple of days later But if y'all would like early access and no edits There is a link to our patreon in the description below as well and that helps us out tremendously Yeah, yeah, Either way, guys enjoy this freaking smash that sub button if you're new to our channel and uh Yeah, let's freaking do it. Heck. Yeah, you yeah. ready? Yeah, dude Whoa, boom. Boom. Oh. All right, let's freaking do this. Here we go. So this is uh, freaking episode number five, Hell of a Boss, and uh, we got a special guest appearance. In I'm it. stoked. And it is Honey Boo Boo. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't awesome. heard that name in a long yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the spirit. I'm sorry for having to move our little rendezvous early. I have an engagement this month on the full moon. When so this. this happens, it's not really something I fuss about, but do you really need the book for this farm bullshit? I have like 15 new Blitz clients waiting for heads to roll. As shocking as it may seem, Blitzy, my grimoire is actually incredibly important, and it isn't supposed to be lent yes. out to itty bitty imps like yourself. Itty bitty the imps. The moon is a very special occasion. It's been my annual duty to showcase it in the Ring of Wrath. It's celebrated by a very a charming war. little festival yeah, with the nobles. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm going huh? to make it. My employees are from there. I've never really been. I hear it's full of inbred Packs fun flowers. Oh, why don't you all join me at the festival? I can guarantee you all special access. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I told you, we're not bodyguards, okay? That was a one-time thing we did badly. I'm simply yeah, we did a work-free day of fun. I feel quite safe at the Harvest Festival. It's the same every year. Well, if you promise this isn't some fuck fest invite, it does sound like it could, could be a be. blast and a half. Plus, it's not like we can do jack shit without your book anyway. Oh, I'm sorry, your clients will have to wait. <laughs> oh, fuck my clients. I gotta say though, really quick, like I'd be terrified, man. A beak anywhere near that general area oh. does not seem good. Nah. It just doesn't seem good. Nah. You know? Nah. I don't know, man. Dude, birds, they be biting hard. You know, they do. And <laughs> I don't like birds because of that. Like, yeah. my grandmother had pet, like, parakeets for, like, years, and every time you'd try, they'd, like, bite your finger and all that. Holy shit. Nah. Dude, I don't know how much of this is true, but I saw this thing on Instagram recently. It's talking about, like, a uh, freaking eagles can only live for, like, so long before they have to, like, rip off their own beak on a rock they got to break their own beak and then it will grow back because it like dulls and they got to break their own beak off oh and then they got to use their new form beak to rip their claws off and they gain new claws and new beaks okay. is that true does anybody know that can someone google that really quick so cat claws they shed their claws kind of like eat they them off they bite them and they'll like come off and then it's kind of like a renewed claw what the fuck? yeah like Go. sometimes i'll find little little Claw shavings of moose. They're just like little hooks. Oh my like god! Yeah, crows just fall off sometimes, but it's because I'm like just a bad dog parent and I don't <laughs> cut her nails enough. And I don't know, but it's terrifying. Jesus. <laughs> what do you want, <laughs> sir? Hey, hope I didn't wake you, Mox. How would you and Nils want to visit the Wrath Ring for some harvest bullshit this year? The harvest harvest bullshit. <laughs> Well, they Millie likes the idea. To overgrowing? Wait. Hmm. Where are you calling from? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he he always has like these dreamy little eyes, you know, these cute little eyeballs. Oh, Mama, Daddy. Oh, Pa. Oh, how's my little pumpkin spice doing? I'm good, Pa. Thanks for letting us stay here for the Harvest Jamboree. It's no trouble. We know you aren't making as much anymore since y'all went freelance. Freelance. Freelance pays fine, Ma. We're doing fine. It's fine. 
Anyway, y'all remember my husband, Mopsy? <laughs> Greetings, Lynn. Yeah. Joe? How have you been now uh, with all the flaming twisters and stuff around here? We oh, lost shit. our old farm head to one of them terrors last week. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is oh, literally crumbs. the scenario when you My meet bad. any I am so sorry. chick's parents in the South. Oh, room. yeah. Yeah, that's literally. 100% how it happens. Oh, yeah. Y'all haven't met my boss Blitz and his hellhound. I'm not just his hellhound. Yeah. It is hell. My daughter. Only on paper. Look at his eyes again, dude. He has this really like. It's a pleasure to finally meet the sperm and egg factory that popped out. This oh my god. Assassin. You two raised a sturdy bitch. A sturdy bitch. <laughs> yeah. So Disappointed half parents. <laughs> That's a fine name. It reminds me of war. Uh, <laughs> nothing like a little war to make a strong man. I like you people. You know, <laughs> I like, I like you people. <laughs> technological advances in warfare. I've researched the history of weaponry extensively, and it's inspiring how, for example, the progression of guns utilizing angelic technology has changed the landscape of hell's combative. I mean. We're fun. Oh, shit. Guns get the job done. We're fun. Man ain't nothing if he can't tear the head off a hellish beast with only his bare hands. Hell yeah. He's <laughs> right, Moxie. You got you with your baby hands <laughs> like your baby did. And your baby did. <laughs> strong hands, y'all should meet our newest help. Hey, Striker! Uh oh. Damn, Striker. Here. <laughs> Freaking hell horse. Oh, Moxie is my here. spirit animal. You oh my god. The famous Mildred. Heard some good things about you from your folks, little lady. Oh. <laughs> what are y'all doing so far away from Imp City? Huh. A free work and finally slowing down? Oh no. Freelance isn't free. It's a. Never mind. Mm -hmm. We're just visiting for the festival. The prince is our boss's boyfriend. Millie, I am not above hitting a female in front of her daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, so you're the bold imp that started his own killing biz. Yeah, well, when you're good at something, you should probably capitalize. Not many imps probably start businesses on their own. That's pretty impressive, sir. Oh. Ah, he's like a snake yeah. dude, kind of. Mm -hmm. I, I guess... I guess it is, isn't it? So you even con that ditzy blue blood into getting you to the surface? Well, it's long and complicated, but the short answer is yes. <laughs> but he's not like, you know, we're, we're not like, we're not doing a, we, the, what's between, it's a transactional fucking, you see. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Your boy should enter the pain games. I heard games, what games? I'm in. Every harvest festival, there's a competition to be the roughest, toughest, bastard Power slap. Hell yeah. <laughs> Wish I could play. Millie, you know you get too carried away. The last competition ended in 15 separate funerals. I'm aware. Hell yeah. I only caused nine of them. How come Sally Mae still gets to compete? Your sister Sally doesn't Mae. have a neighborhood head count. She so does. It doesn't count if they don't find the body. <laughs> <laughs> it's a root for her and your brothers. And now you can Is that the only time we see Sally Mae in this you know, episode? She also cheer for me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you? Yeah, I could compete, can't I? Oh. oh. I don't think sensitive thespian types would last very thespian long. Thespian types? Days. I was born here, too. I have some fat in me. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> then, little fella, won't you help me wrangle one of them hogs for dinner? Hell yeah. Watch me. Nah, so I know she appears in a short, but does she appear more in this episode? Because I watched the short, it was freaking awesome. Yourself an opening. Oh, right, right. <laughs> I knew that. Now, just remember, your rep with the in-laws is on the line here. So no pressure at all. You totally will not make an ass of yourself in front of everyone important in your life. Your life. Go get him, Tiger. <laughs> Go get him. Oh, of course he would be that guy. He is so <laughs> that dude. <laughs> Take it fast, Moxie! Yeah! <laughs> I love Blitz so much. Yeah, he's such a great character. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Mox! Nope. Well, oh, mine. All right. Well, yeah, to start off armored. Fucking beautiful. Send me that video later. <laughs> oh yeah. Sing. Boom. Is that what it looked like? I lived on a horse farm, but I, maybe a pig farm's different. Stood a chance. They fart. Man, 
Is that fart? You want to help the men skin like this thing for dinner? Oh, maybe. Oh, I am always down to skin the manly meat with the manly man. That's what she said. What, skin the manly meat? Wait, what bitch is talking shit about me? <laughs> Get him, Blitz. <laughs> Blitz even you. walks off all like... You don't need my parents to respect you. They will eventually. No, they won't. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. I'm right, ain't I? Oh, I'm an That sounds like Lumpy games. Space Princess from oh, maybe. Adventure Time. So you yeah. Bet on him, Diane. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, man. There's been a uh, there's one person that's shown up in the show already. I'm surprised you didn't know who it was. I've been paying attention, but I can't tell. You're normally really good at uh, voices. How kind, Greetings, tiny. Wrath ring imps. I hereby welcome you all to another year of celebrating the I like his voice actor too. Yeah, so good. I do whenever we get to this, I have to show you the voice acting behind the scenes. So good. Good luck to you all. Especially that sexy little one there. Blitzy. I love that he calls him Blitzy. I don't yeah, know why, but it yeah. makes me laugh every time. Mm, Blitzy. It is not even a three. Oh, shit. Oh. There's sharks in the water. Oh, Another shark. Yeah, hell yeah. Shark. Mud shark. <laughs> it's <co> <laughs> That's so stupid. I love this show, man. There's just so yeah. much dumb stuff. It's the same shark. <laughs> it's got a grudge. Hell yeah. Say my name right, fucking dick. Yeah, fucking dick. the physical advantage. I'm better at other things, like singing. I'd like to take this opportunity to sing a quick song I wrote just now about me winning. About me winning. Oh, Oh, yes. I blast Shannon, yep. <laughs> Isn't this guy great? <laughs> it's gonna be nice working with him. Working with him. What is he what? eating? I don't know. I was trying to figure it out. Yeah, what is that? You asked, but Max, I think you've had enough for now. Let's head back to the house and get you clean. Cheese and hot sauce. Okay, that makes sense. Max, go it was fuck yourself. Crispy cheese, though. I fucking love crispy cheese, oh, dude. dude same. Oh, that's a horse from the freaking uh, outro. Okay, so I'll go ahead and tell you then. Striker's voice is Norman Reedus. Ah, uh, I don't know his voice. Yeah. I don't know his voice. Wild freaking raspiness. That's Norman? I love Norman Reedus. I didn't recognize his voice. Anyway, I can't remember that's if I true. noticed it. I never watched Walking Dead or anything. Ah, yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. <clears throat> Oh my crumbles! A genuine carmine crafted blessing tipped rifle. Mm. How, how in the fuck did he get one of these? Why don't you ask me, little dude? Little dude. Why do you have this? I knew his, so. I knew his you voice was different, but I was like, I, I just didn't know. Do yeah. Loyalty. Yes, that. No shit. That's kind of the point. Okay. Well, I, I'm, I'm no, no, Shannon, you're cool. By your possession of this. I'm also glad my instant dislike of you has been validated. Mm. Validated. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Uh oh, she's about to get carried away. She is a straight up badass. Carmine from Aspen Trailer Company sells to foreign clients. Oh, oh shit! Dang! Oh god! I know she's such a little badass. Millie. Wait, I 
can't remember how he got that gun. That. I'd kill y'all, but I feel like there's more leverage with your rodeo clown of a boss if I don't. Rodeo Plus, clown. your little things ain't worth the cleanup. Dang. Oh, Satan. Moxie, I'm fine. Oh, Satan. <laughs> I got worse than this during the flower toss at my brother's wedding. Or the but flower I toss? Fucking bouquet, and it was fucking worth it. Ew. You just have to get out there and fuck up that brown nosing cocksucker for me. <laughs> but I can't break through it. I'm not strong enough. Not with your hands, baby. Use what you're good at. I'm not good with my hands. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. I, I probably should have used this earlier, huh? <laughs> I love you, boy. But for fuck's sake. She is such a ride or die, man. Yeah, yeah. Gotta be. Yeah. I, Stolas of the Arves Goetia, hereby curse this year's harvest with the glow of the true harvest moon. Nice. There you go. Oh, so he's gonna assassinate him. Uh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. The fuck? The bugs? I thought you were still at the ceremony. You thought I wanted to stand around with a bunch of hillbillies excited about corn and shit with a <laughs> thirsty owl on stage? Huh. No, thirsty you owl? In me. He's so yeah. funny. Well, I'm not a fan of someone I offered a job to about to off my easiest lanky ticket to Earth behind my back. Liz, come on. You know the two of us are superior than most of our kind. And you were so above sucking on a disgusting, rich, pompous Goetia, only to sneak topside for scraps and work for bitter sinners who could care less who you are. I mean, you could be slaying overlords. Why struggle to run a business that is rigged against you when you could partner up with me and kill the unkillable? Starting with the one that treats you like a plaything. Ooh, that's kind of hot. We could be the oh, most shit. dangerous beings in hell. Let's. Wow. That was a good fucking bitch. Been workshopping. You know what? Fuck it. I'm in. I'm in. Oh. Took you long enough, Mox. <laughs> wow, you should have yeah. seen your dipshit face. Whoa, whoa. Okay, cliche much. Oh, oh shit. You daddy fucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Damn it. Dumb fucks lost the upper hand fast, huh? <clears throat> you seem to have forgotten something, fucko. Fucko. <laughs> She's such a badass. <laughs> Damn shame, Blitz. We might actually have made a good team. Oh, well. In your wet dreams, you hockey talk show. <laughs> yeah, get him, Blitz. <laughs> nice. Bliss is actually a badass too, man. Yeah. I still think it's embarrassing. You're wasting a lot of potential relying on a weak lip. You gonna finish that fucking sentence? <laughs> Partner. <laughs> Partner. <laughs> Who's weak now, bitch? Oh, God. Amber. Hey, She's such a ding dong. Maybe you'll get me next time, Blitzy. Nate is a green. Mm. Nate is escape. Current theory is Striker's half breed. Ah. Oh. You I was seeing red, Ma, and he was mm. slippery. Excuses. You're better than that, Mildred. You know, Mildred. She ah. Me. And maybe I'm not a strong, beefy dickhead. Dickhead. But Millie has the strength enough for both of us. Oh God. You two are getting on our case about being hurt by a psychopath. You hired. Shame on you. Oh, Moxie, mm -mm -mm. look at you. Speeching like a big boy. <laughs> big pants. Big pants. This is so funny. Noted. He's never acknowledged your input before. So, is that progress? Hideaway uh, Hotel, the guy that tried to kill you isn't here. <laughs> <laughs> kill the target at the festival. But don't worry, ma'am. It won't happen again. It better not. I want this cheating prick dead. I don't oh, care who you wow. have to go through. Make it happen! 
I'm right in front of him. Understood. I'll get him next time. <laughs> them eyes. Yeah. Okay, so. Wow. Sweet victory. <laughs> Brass pink. Norman freaking Reedus. That's pretty wild. Mm -hmm. It's cool though. Yeah. Totally the best. Mars, cool, <laughs> go fuck yourself. I love their freaking <laughs> songs, dude. They're yeah. so ridiculous. Um, but dude, so I don't like. I think this episode showed a lot of like the the relationship dynamic between Millie and Moxie and it is like this throughout all of it. I think Millie's just fucking awesome. Yeah, she's she is in really my cool. opinion. Like, um, okay, so somebody I can't remember who it was that said this. Was the it Nitris? Have arrived. Yeah, uh, none of that. Somebody said that like uh Moxie is their spirit animal, but I don't remember exactly where it was. But Moxie I don't know why, one. like Moxie, he's the uh, the the dude, him, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. And I just, I don't know, man. He just kind of is like a little like doofus, you know. But yeah. he's also <laughs> sometimes <laughs> he I feel like that. Awesome. Yeah, sometimes I feel like Moxie. Yeah, I think it's kind of cool. It shows both sides. Like, yeah. he can be a little Moxie, a little bit Millie. You know what I mean? But I love Millie. I'm Team Millie over here, man. I think oh, Millie yeah. is just Absolutely. wild as hell, and yeah, I'm she's like, cool. God. But he is such a goober, and like sometimes whenever he gets on like his high horse, strong woman. Yeah, yeah, Millie. Yeah, man. Yeah, Millie is definitely my favorite, especially on uh, what uh, the camp episode when they go to the Team Millie. That's me over here, definitely Team Millie. We need to get T-shirts, Team Millie shirts or <laughs> Team Moxie shirts. Yeah, but yeah, I uh, I don't know, man. The freaking camp episode though, that's where I was really like, man, Millie is just freaking awesome. I like. I like her a lot. She's freaking amazing. But, yeah, man. So, Norman Reedus blew my mind that he was on this. Yeah. Because I don't know how big the show was then. Like, if it's always just been a massive thing. But the fact that they got Norman Reedus is pretty wild. Yeah, it is. They also have another uh, guest star that shows up on this episode. Or not this episode, but, like, uh, I think it's it's either late this season or it's early next season. But the Queen Bee episode... We have another guest. Mm. It's a singer chick. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. It's episode eight. Dang. Millie is the perfect wife. I mean, yeah. What about Team Eminem? Oh, dang. All right, Megor. Mm -hmm. I like that too. Eminem team. Yeah, yeah, I like it. All right, that's pretty snazzy. Pretty freaking snazzy. 